Hey guys, good morning. Day two here with the T-Tox. And today, like I said yesterday, I'm going to do um, the Get Clean AM formula iced because I'm just going to use my new can. So, I mean, I woke up around 8. I think I've been like subconsciously intermittent fasting, which I don't mean to do. Like I, I like to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or really breakfast and lunch, but I keep forgetting to eat breakfast at times. And I'm here, you know, in my house, or I'm at my complex's clubhouse studying so it's like there's really no excuse for me to skip out on breakfast it's not like I'm going to school or to work or whatever so it's already kind of late in the morning it's like 10 45 and I'm getting my a.m. done so this is not sweetened as well and I'm trying to think about what I want to do. Um, if I want to do the all day and the PM ice too. I'm not going to do the two bags. I'm just going to brew it ahead of time. And then let it cool down by itself over time. And then it's practically the same thing. But, you know, people... People, sorry... Uh, tea companies suggest that you do double strength because if you're going to brew it like immediately and serve it over ice, then you don't want to dilute the taste of the tea if you were to just brew one bag. But pro tip, you can brew one bag of the tea and then just let it cool, you know, cool in the fridge or at room temp. And then you could just pour that over ice and it won't dilute. So that's what I'm probably going to end up doing just to keep everything consistent. But I'm not sweetening um, this tea or today. I'm not sweetening today. But I will try them iced. I'm just going to, after I finish this glass, I'm going to um, brew my all day and my p.m. now and then just have them cool off over time so here we go taking a sip of the a.m. formula hmm well this iced it tastes like you know just you put sprigs of spearmint in water when this was hot I tasted a good um, you know a good amount of time that the tea was in my mouth I tasted the lemon verbena but you know, this being iced, I don't really taste the lemon verbena, but the spearmint still comes through. And maybe, like, the cucumber as well. So, you know, iced, you don't really taste the lemon verbena, which is, you know, it's not a deal breaker, but the spearmint and cucumber come through. And, you know, the taste of dandelion. And all in all, this tastes, this tastes okay, iced. I'll probably be fine with drinking it hot. But, there we go, folks. So, that's the AM formula iced. I'm going to finish this cup, brew the other two, and I will see y'all in the afternoon for my all-day formula. Alright, guys, see you then. Hey guys, what's going on? So today, 
this afternoon. It's around 3, what is it? Almost 3.30. And this is the all day formulation or I keep saying formulation, sorry. All day blend of the Get Clean Iced. So guys, what I did, like I said in my morning section, I brewed one bag of six ounces of tea by itself. Then I just let it sit, you know, in the fridge for until I'm ready to drink it. And I'm going to taste if it's diluted or not. It shouldn't be. Color's pretty rich. Going in for the sip. Ooh-wee! It tastes like... Excuse me. Tastes like vanilla almond water. Like if you... I don't know. You put in a... I'm not going to say vanilla bean... Because that has a distinct taste. But if you, um, I don't know, if you put in like a drop of vanilla extract, like, I mean a drop, not to it's sweet, but the flavor of vanilla is present. It tastes pretty good. Um, iced. Yeah, I like it. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, folks. So, I didn't really... I don't know, guys. I'm, like, forgetting to eat. So, I'm actually going to get something to eat from my fridge. And, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what I want to eat, to be honest. Which is sad. Like, I don't know. That'll be something interesting. I'm trying to figure out what to eat. But, um, it's going to be light for the most part. And, um, all right. Tastes really good iced. Like, both, like, both so far taste very good um, iced. You could do the single bag cool down, like not rapid or flash chilling, but just do single bag cool down. Kind of works like, um, kind of works like cold brew, but you're not cold brewing. You are kind of speeding up the process of cold brewing. It's like a hybrid of the two. So I already have the evening tea brewed and it's just in the fridge for me to get it out and put it over ice and review for you guys for that one. All right, guys. I'm going to finish this up, have me some lunch, and I'll see you this evening. Hello, hello, hello. We're, ev we're in evening time now. It's about 9.30 my time, and I got the PM formula. I keep saying formula. The PM blend of the Get Clean. Um, and poured over some ice. Kind of went a little heavy on the ice, but that's okay. So, I'm going to take a sip. It kind of tastes like really diluted juice when iced. And surprisingly when unsweetened too. Like, I don't know guys. Like if you um, have more ice than juice, but you want to drink the rest of the cup and not waste the juice, you get like more water than juice. That's what this tastes like. Mm. 
not bad. Not bad, I say. So, guys, today, closing out, I had, um, I was kind of hungry in between lunch, well, the time that I filmed the all day, and then, um, making dinner, or rather, lunch slash dinner, um, I had, like, two... No, excuse me. I didn't have two. I had, like, three of the Quaker rice cakes. Like, tomato and basil flavor. Those are so good. And it's, like... It kind of takes my mind off of chips. Potato chips. Because those are my weakness. Potato chips. I love potato chips, y'all. So, to... You know, remember about the savory flavors that Quaker has for their um, rice cakes. I was like, oh, okay. I can have, like, two rice cakes. Two of those, like... They're, like, this size, y'all. If you don't know the size of rice cakes. They're a little bigger, but they're this size. It's not, like, the um, ones that are what they call poppers or whatever. Not the ones that mimic, like, a potato chip bag, but the traditional larger size rice cakes so i had them lying in my house and i'm like oh you know makes a good snack to hold me over and i really love that savory flavor y'all it's really good and then i had for lunch slash dinner because it's kind of late it was late i had chicken jambalaya so you know and then I had about like Two small, like, cereal bowl fulls because I was really hungry. And um, I had enough left over for tomorrow. Uh, be it lunch or dinner, whatever I'm feeling like. Yep, so, I mean, the hunger pains, like, the cravings for junk are still there. However, I'm managing And sooner or later, I'm probably going to crack into my, ooh, excuse me. I'm going to crack into my sparkling water because I do miss the taste of carbonation with a little bit of flavor. So I have cucumber mint and um, watermelon flavor sparkling water. So there's that too. And um, that is it. So, you know, I'm I'm slowly but surely making improvements. I'm trying not to get swayed or cave in. I need to um, not want fast food or fried food for that matter. But mainly just make my meals at home and second day in. Alright guys, so tomorrow... Hmm, I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to lightly sweeten, lightly, I mean like very, very sparingly, y'all. Because, like I said before, these teas taste good without sweetener. But, you know, with the my curiosity for like different ways to try this, I, I'll sweeten it a little bit tomorrow. I'll, I'll have it hot and sweetened, and then I'll try it iced and sweetened. But there you have it, folks. Day two is down. So again, guys, I want to thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Please, if you have any questions... <clears throat> let me start over. Please, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, please feel free to drop it in the comment section below. I do not bite. Any and all are welcome and heavily appreciated. Y'all, don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed out here in these YouTube streets. And, um, y'all take it easy. See you tomorrow. Good night.